Hi there, I'm Mike Sennett, designer of Astronaut the Best. Our game has a lot going on, and I know it can be hard to understand all of it from a short trailer, so I wanted to offer a slightly more in-depth explanation to answer questions such as, what is going on? And no, seriously, what is going on? At heart, the premise of Astronaut the Best is simple. You are the director of the Flaustrian Royal Space Academy. Your country is going to space, but you're not the one building the spacecraft or flying it around. Your job is to sit at this desk and train some space cadets into the heroes Flaustria needs. But that doesn't mean it's an easy job. Your astronauts have challenging personalities, and you're accountable for all their failures plus all the demands of your bosses, the mystical high priests who rule Flaustria, plus the tabloids are after your astronauts, plus the lion on the flag keeps talking with you about some magical conspiracy, and it can all be a lot to deal with. So let's just take things one step at a time and explain how you too can succeed enough to not get executed by the state. Okay, so each playthrough, you have some randomized astronaut recruits like these, with random stats, names, appearances, and personalities. And your goal is to train them so that they can accomplish various challenges, such as making the spaceship go. They have five stats, piloting, procedure, fitness, charm, and beauty, that between them can prepare them for any challenge. Every day, you're going to train your astronauts in one of these skills. To train them, just press this button and hold it down as long as you dare. The longer you hold it, the more skill experience the astronaut gains, but also the more stress. If an astronaut gets too much stress, they risk having a breakdown and becoming injured or losing stat points. Every day after training, some complication arises. There's a random narrative event where you make an important decision about leading the Space Academy. Some of these might be about handling your astronauts getting into trouble, or dealing with the demands of your bosses, or sometimes they're special storyline events. Regardless, you're going to have to make a choice, and it will have consequences. Maybe on your program's resources and astronauts, or maybe with some less expected payoff down the line. So that's the basic loop. Every day, you train your astronauts, then make a narrative decision. Simple. Or that part is, at least. Now, the first question I'd have at this point is, why are you training the astronauts? Well, how are these stats used, and what's the goal you're going for overall? Well, every time you play, you start by choosing a mission. At first, there's only a tutorial mission unlocked, which I promise will take you through the premise and these systems a little more gradually than this video does. But eventually you'll unlock five different missions, each with a very different story and goals. Each mission presents a challenge your astronauts must overcome before your program can even hold its space launch. For example, in one mission, the High Priests demand your astronauts drop everything and prepare for a boxing match against the enemy nation. These missions each have a variety of branching paths with important choices and secrets to discover, and through each one you'll learn a bit more of the overarching plot about Flaustria and your own unusual metaphysical situation. During each mission, your astronauts will encounter challenges that they need their skills to overcome. The higher their stats, the higher their odds of success. The missions will hint at what stats will be most useful, but there might be some surprises, so it can always be helpful to raise well-balanced astronauts. Especially since the stats aren't just for missions, they're also used during everyday events. If you succeed in the mission finale, your program is approved for a space launch, and you'll get a little more time to prepare your astronauts for it. Think of space launch like a bonus round, or like the final boss on a roguelike. It's really hard, and you might not always succeed, especially at first, but you'll get there eventually, and there's a lot to explore along the way. All in all, every run takes about one or two hours. You try your best to train astronauts, complete the mission, explore space, and then there's a parade. The high priests sum up your glory and everything else you've done to tell you your final outcome. And uh, then some other stuff happens. Because Astronaut the Best has a bit of a roguelite structure. After every playthrough, you hop into another dimension to try again. And every time, succeed or fail, you unlock some new missions, uniforms, items, and other gameplay options. Every time you play a mission, it will end up pretty different. You have your randomized astronauts, and they have different personality traits that affect their stats as well as having many other effects. 
The mission will always have the same key choices so that you can revisit it to explore the different branching paths, but all the other events in between are randomized as well. As you play, you'll discover more options to help deal with these situations. Equipment that raises your astronaut stats, bribes for your bosses, and of course, the ability to use witchcraft to change your astronauts' personalities. And in the end, the game isn't just about reaching space and helping your country. There are other things going on. An overarching story involving forces beyond this world that plays out gradually over the course of every playthrough. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. At this point, I think you're about ready to start playing. Now, I can't prepare you for all the surprises Astronaut the Best has in store, nor would I want to. The game is ultimately about exploring, role-playing, and trying out different decisions to see what'll happen. Kind of like a moral laboratory. We've tried our best to make it okay for you to fail, because you'll still unlock stuff and because it'll be pretty funny. So go out there, experiment, explore, and see what happens. It's your space program, after all, and I can't wait to hear what sort of stories you find there. Thanks for watching, and enjoy Astronaut the Best.